This is a quick review of the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex Alpha. It's a 2-in-1, so it can be used like a PC or a tablet. It's the little brother of the Galaxy Book Flex. This is the Intel i7 model with 12 gigs of RAM and only has the integrated Intel graphics. This comes with two USB-A ports, a micro SD card slot for extra storage, an HDMI port, a USB-C port, which it does not have the ability to charge. It also does not support the S Pen. This also includes a fingerprint reader. It took part of the shift key to accommodate though. This will probably annoy a lot of people. The laptop is 13.3 inches and here it is compared to an iPad Pro 11 inch model. This review is mostly focusing on real world usage. The four things I wanted to talk about are the quality of the screen, can you game on this, can you edit photos in programs like Lightroom? Does this get hot? The biggest pro for this laptop is that it has a good screen compared to other laptops in this range. Samsung is using the QLED technology it uses in its TVs. This has a 300 nit screen with the ability to go to 600 nits in an outdoor mode. This screen has sRGB coverage of 100%, NTSC coverage of 87%, Adobe RGB coverage of 89% and 99% coverage of the P3 color gamut. My laptop had some LED uniformity issues, but nothing too crazy. Overall, I think this is a really good screen. Now let's talk about gaming. Older games seem to play without issue. Here I am playing games like Valda Story, Rogue Legacy, and a newer game like Hollow Knight. This does only have the integrated Intel graphics, so don't expect to play games like eSport titles or any AAA games. Screen latency didn't seem to be much of an issue playing these older games, so I think you can basically do any type of light gaming on this. This seems to handle Lightroom without issues. I didn't experience any lag when editing photos. It took 3 minutes and 15 seconds to export 50 raw 32 megapixel images into JPEGs. I think this is plenty fast enough when you are on the go. Lastly, I will say this laptop gets almost too hot to touch when you're doing light gaming or when you're exporting images. But in all other uses, this the laptop was not that warm and seemed fine to use. Overall, I like this laptop and I think I'm gonna keep it.